Okay, so the next to topic is infectious diarrhea. Diarrhea caused by an infection of the digestive system caused by bacteria, virus, or a parasite that results in frequent bowel movements producing excessive amounts of liquid feces. It's a second leading cause of death in children under 5 years old. Kills approximately 1.5 million children every year. Leading cause of malnutrition in under 5 children. Kills 5 to 10 million people per year. Now let's have a look at common causes of diarrhea. So bacterial infections. Several types of bacteria consumed through contaminated food or water like Campylobacter, Salmonella, Shigella, Clostridium and E. coli. Viral infections. Many viruses cause diarrhea, including rotavirus and norovirus, cytomegalovirus, herpes simplex virus, viral hepatitis. Infection with the rotavirus is the most common cause of acute diarrhea in children and usually results in 3 to 7 days. Parasites that cause diarrhea include Giardia, Entamoeba, and Cryptosporidium. Okay, so. Intestinal diseases, inflammatory bowel disease, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, and celiac disease can cause diarrhea, so as so food intolerances and sensitivities such as lactose and wheat. Reaction to medicines like antibiotics, cancer drugs, and antacids. Symptoms usually begin with abdominal pain followed by diarrhea that usually lasts no more than a few days. Frequent stools, watery stools, fever, chills, anorexia, vomiting, malaise. Signs of dehydration in adults include thirst, decreased urination, dark colored urine, dry skin, fatigue, dizziness, lightheadedness. Signs of dehydration in infants and young children include dry mouth and tongue, no tears when crying, no wet diapers for three hours or more, sunken eyes, cheeks or soft spot in the skull. High fever, listless on irritability. Dehydration is particularly dangerous in children, older adults, and people with weakened immune systems. Sigmoidoscopy or colonoscopy may be used to look for signs of intestinal diseases that cause chronic diarrhea. Fasting tests find out if a food intolerance or allergy is causing the diarrhea. Treatment is adequate fluid and electro electrolyte replacement and maintain maintenance are key to managing diarrheal illness. All right, patient education. Tell the patient to avoid caffeine and foods that are greasy, high in fiber or sweet may less symptoms. These foods can aggravate diarrhea. Infants with diarrhea should be given breast milk or full strength formula as usual along with oral rehydration solutions. Some children recovering from viral diarrhea have problems digesting lactose for up to a month or more. The two oral vaccines, rotavirus vaccine, live oral, pentavalent and rotavirus vaccine. Ro Rotarex is given in two doses. The first dose is given when infants are six weeks old and the second is given at least four weeks later but before infants are two weeks old, 24 weeks old.